This guy is an animated 1950s Santa Claus Christmas 10 Litho Toy Japan battery operated with box. She paid $35 at an estate sale for this one and it sold on best offer for $225. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, this is the featured members Bolo video. That means that these members have signed up for memberships on my channel to be featured in a video just like this. I've got 36 Bolos coming your way. Most of these are big money or unexpected. I'm going to tell you where they got it what they paid for it, and what it sold for. My channel is completely free. Memberships are for people that want the perks so that they can be featured in videos like this. All right, let's get started with some BOLO items. BOLO stands for Be On The Lookout, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a great profit. All right, my name is Courtney, and we're going to get started here. My channel is all about Bolo items. So if you like this type of content, be sure to check out some other videos and subscribe. All right, the first item here comes from, uh-oh, here we go, Chosen Goods Reseller. Let me make sure we're up here. All right, we are up. Okay, so the first one comes from Carissa, Chosen Goods Reseller, and she has a YouTube channel. She is currently taking a little break for some medical stuff. Um, but hopefully she will be back soon putting out some reseller content, but she has an awesome live show that she does where she interviews other resellers. So be sure to sub her up. All right. So the first item she sold, I just love this one. You guys know if you watch me that I love plush and I love toys. So she picked this up at the Goodwill bins. So, um, it says a dollar 21 is approximately what she had in it. So I'm guessing that her Goodwill bins charges less per pound than mine because I am $1.79 a pound at my bins. And she sold this Care Bear for $39.28 plus shipping. It is vintage Graham's Care Bear and it has the shawl. So I think that is original to the Care Bear, not 100% sure. But of course, we know that anytime accessories that come with the item are included, you can get a little more for the item. So super cute Care Bear there. The next item she sold is this Scentsy Cheetah Print Blanket. And this, she um, was just a purchase. I think she got this maybe when she purchased something else. Not 100% sure, but it was hers. So uh, she sold this for $45 and the buyer paid shipping. So Scentsy is definitely something to be on the lookout for. The Scentsy warmers can do pretty good as well, especially the retired ones. So definitely look those up if you see them. Justin Boots, another great brand. These were also hers. And she sold these for a best offer of $38 plus shipping. And those are pretty fun right there with the cutouts and the tan and teal color. And let me show you what the inside looks like. So they are Justin and I think it's on the bottom also. These look like they're the Gypsy, Justin Gypsy. And I'm doing an extra one because I just love this one. And honestly, like I would have held out for full price on this, but she ended up taking a best offer of $30 on this. It's an Anna Lee doll and some Anna Lee can be big money bolos. Most of them are bread and butter, but this guy glows in the dark. Are you kidding me? How cool is that photo? I just love it. Um, here is what it looks like. You would never expect it to look like that, right? I wonder what made her put it under a black light. How cool. I just love this. I just, it's one of my favorite bolos. I just think it's so cool. And there it is. So she also got this at the Benz for approximately $1.21 as well. Now, I believe this was a part of the challenge that we did a while back. And again, I thought this was going to sell super quick. It was a super great score. Um, I think it was called hashtag Ben's five. It was a scavenger hunt. I think I could be wrong, but you can check that out. It's one of her videos. All right. This next one here comes from Lombardi Limited. He does not have a YouTube channel. This is his eBay store. He does a lot of hats, snapbacks, and he does tons of postcards, ephemera, stuff like that. 
but he has a really unique different store. Definitely check him out. I will have him linked as well as everybody else I'm featuring this in this video down in the description. You'll have their eBay store and their YouTube channel if they have one. So this is an Arizona, Arizona territorial postcard and it's got the stamp on it. And you know, I have some old postcards and I'm always worried that I have like a rare stamp or something and I never end up listing them. I, I really probably should. But anyway, this is what it looks like on the front. And it's a school of music. And he ended up taking, uh, let's see. I believe he took a best offer on this one. Yeah. Let me check here. I forgot to write it down. Um, let me look. Sorry. Apologize. He said, both postcards sold for a best offer of $30. So we got this postcard. And this is also a postcard. And this one, it says, King of Thailand, Bangkok, in priesthood, meditation, shawl, robe, sunglasses, postcard. And again, it's got writing on the back. So even if they have writing on the back, they can still sell Again, 30 bucks. And he purchased these postcards in a huge lot. So he's got pennies in these. And the next item is, of course, another thing that he likes to sell, a snapback hat. And this one is very cool. It is a space camp hat from the 1980s. Um, one thing that I would add, I think a good keyword is trucker hat. But I, yeah, I would probably put trucker but he may have just run out of room because he's got a lot of really good uh, keywords in the title. So he's got foam, patch, snapback, mesh. All those things are really, really important. It's got this really cool patch on the front. But another good keyword is trucker. Uh, this one sold for $45.95 with free shipping. The next item comes from MSG's Treasures, and this is his YouTube channel. He is a bolo finder. You guys, wait until you see some of his bolos. Uh, he's featuring some in the Facebook group also. Big money. So this first item he sold, which I'm like, what on earth is that? It's an RCBS Lubomatic bullet sizer. Have you ever seen such a thing? He got this at an estate sale for $20, and he sold it on auction for $162.99. So tell me in the comments, would you have picked this up or would you have just walked right past it? The next item he sold is this um, OptiConnectics OptiSolar projector, uh, tested and working. He got this at a thrift store for 50 and let's see, with other stuff. So he got a big lot. So I don't know if everything was 50 or his estimated cost for this was 50. But either way, he took a best offer of $450 for this item, and he had free shipping on that. The next item is this Centrance Mixer Face R4 Mobile Recording Interface. And he said he bought a storage unit. The storage unit cost him $250, and I guess it wasn't a very good storage unit. So this one item helped him break even. And he took a best offer of $250 on this one. Okay, I apologize. The storage unit cost him $400 and this sold for $250. So it didn't make everything back, but it helped. So he probably sold some other stuff from that unit. You know, that's one thing with storage units. You just never know what you're going to get. This one comes from In the Life of a Reseller, formerly known as Designs by Josie. And this is her YouTube channel. You can check her out over here. And she sold this 1980s promotional hamburger helper helping hand transistor AM radio. How cool is that? She got it at an estate sale clean out. So I'm guessing it was free. Um, she just maybe did the work and sold this for $48.97 plus shipping. The next item here are these vintage Billabong Tribal Andy Iron Signature Rising Sun Surf board shorts, size 36. So great keywords there. She got these at the Goodwill for $3.50. And she said, what makes these special is that they are the Andy, Andy, whatever, Andy irons. So these sold for $39.94 and it is even, even missing the tie at the fly, you know, at the top of the fly where you tie them. 
So pretty, uh, pretty good there. You see right here, it's missing that. The next item she sold is this original watercolor painting by, oh, paintings by John Adams, uh, or I'm sorry, John James Obdubon, Obdubon. I think I said it right. Um, it's a book. And she sold this for $47.99. She picked this up in a bundle of books for about 10 cents. So really good profit on that one there. The next item comes from a little bluebird. And she also has a really awesome eBay store with lots of variety. So check her out. She sells clothes, hard goods, toys, you name it, she's got it. All right. She sold this mid-century modern drip glaze green brown fish vintage table lamp and she got this at a going out of business sale for twenty dollars and she flipped it quick for a best offer of 70. the next item is this folk Monus raven puppet if you guys have not heard of folk Monus, definitely be on the lookout they do range from big money to bread and butter most are bread and butter but there are some that go in the $40, $50 range, some even higher, but you got to find the, the harder to find rare ones. But look at her fingernails. They're cute little hearts. Um, so right there is the tag. She got this in at the Goodwill Bins for about 24 cents and it sold in a couple of hours for $44.20. So that is awesome. And I missed one here. Uh-oh, where is it? Oh, that's right. There was a third one, but um, it expired. The listing expired. It was called Dip It. I'm not sure what that one was. So I apologize. This one comes from Random Chick Picker, and she doesn't have any YouTube content yet, but she is hoping to have some in the future. So sub her up. And what did she sell? She sold this Simpsons Electric 260 Series Analog Multimeter. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it does. Uh, it looks like some sort of tool. She got this from a friend for free, took a best offer of $125 plus shipping. She also sold this 1953 Ford Airplane Jet Hood Ornament, original and vintage. And she got this at a yard sale for $1 and took a best offer of $55. So definitely a very cool item there. And this Louis Vuitton padlock with two keys. She sold this one over on Poshmark. She got it at a yard sale for 50 cents and it sold the same day for $49. So very, very cool there. All right, Lola's Trunk Treasures. Another really fantastic eBay store with lots of variety of items. Um, just, she's a bolo finder. She finds some really cool stuff. All right, so what did she sell? She sold this retired hard to find Lego Bionicle. And she got this at the Goodwill for $3.49 and sold it in 48 hours for $129.99 free shipping. The next item is this 2013 Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty Valentine's plush. And it has a bow that goes right here. And the only reason I know that is because I have sold one of these before and mine was missing the bow also. So they will still sell without the bow. Um, she got this at the Goodwill for $4.49 and it sold in 24 hours for $79.99 with free shipping. The next item here are these Design Works, the Fortune Traveler and Princess Dragon by Teresa Wensler, 2002. And she paid $2 each for these. I think it says at a church sale. And it took a best off, or no, I'm sorry. She sold them for full asking price of $239.99. Now, what she said was, they're just this right here. There's no yarn. There's, it's basically just this. So that is crazy and amazing and unexpected for sure. I don't know. All right. The next item comes from Where Pigs Fly Farm. And they have a nonprofit that you guys should definitely go check out their eBay store, check out their YouTube channel. Everything goes to help the farm. And um, I also have a video where I featured their store and I tell you more about that. So definitely go check that out. All right. So they sold this giant 22 inch large mouth bass and they sold this for... 209.21 best offer and she got it from a friend free. So they do get donations um 
to the farm from people and then they list the things and the money goes to towards to help the animals. The next item is this pre-Columbian ocarina, ocarina, I don't know, sorry guys, pottery bird. We're just going to stop there. It's an ancient instrument. <laughs> and she got this in a box lot, I believe at an auction for $1 and took a best offer of $100 on that one. This wide awake doll, side glance eyes. I love this keyword, side glance eyes. Like, would you have thought to put that? I love that. All bisque handmade clothes. She got this in a box, lotted in auction, had approximately a dollar in it, and sold it for a best offer of $80 plus shipping. The next item is from Vichy. I think I said it right this time. And she has no store, but if you click on the link below, it's going to take you into uh, this format and you can scroll through the items and use the search bar if you want to check that out. And she sold, okay, so these are flatware and I don't know if they're stainless steel or silver plate. Let me see here. I don't know if it says, okay, stainless steel. So these are not even silver plate. They're stainless steel. So she sold this set, this set, and this set. So it's somebody probably looking for this brand and pattern. And she sold these for um, 35, oh, I'm sorry. She paid $35 for a lot. She sold these three sets for $119.85. And I think she still has some left in her store. And the buyer paid shipping on that. The next item is this vintage 1940s Pyrex flameware teapot. And this one, she got it an auction for, uh, it was a shelf lot. I'm not sure what that means, but it was $40 maybe for the entire shelf. So I'm not sure what the cost of goods for the one item is, but she sold it for $39.95 plus shipping. The next item are these crazy dancing pigs. <laughs> Dancing pigs. Uh, MCM Hazel Atlas Dancing Musical Pigs. Uh, they're tumblers. And she got these at an antique mall. She paid $100 for a whole bunch of them. And this is just one set of four that sold for $39.95 plus shipping. The next item comes from Ozark Mountain reseller Sandy. Definitely check out her channel. She's got some content over there. And she sold this vintage Kuna panel. Thunderbird hand sewn unframed Native American. Um, I guess it's just maybe something that somebody made and then you need to frame it. So interesting, very interesting piece. Uh, let's see. She got it at a flea market for two bucks and took a best offer of $45 plus shipping. The next item um, is a bedspread. Vintage hand embroidered bedspread, full size Victorian fringe. How cool is this? Um, cottage core. Is that the word you're not supposed to use? Or is it shabby, shabby chic? There's one of those words that you can't use because I guess though they don't want you to use it. I can't remember. You guys help me out in the comments. I know it was in my Vero video, but I just can't recall. It might be shabby chic. It's one of the two. Um, she got this bed spread for two bucks and it was an auction lot and she sold it for $65.59. So if you guys have not seen the items that you should not be buying to sell on eBay, check out. I have part one, part two, and part three out right now. I have part four and five that will be coming in the future. These are items that people have gotten removed from their eBay store or they've gotten suspended for. And I asked people to share in my Facebook group and I created videos to help you guys learn what you should not be saying or selling on eBay. Like another example would be you cannot use the word Velcro um, or onesie. So those are two really popular ones that most people know about. But definitely check out those out because those are current things that are happening to people like now <laughs> in the present tense. So we have this Disney Ariel and Baby enamel, cloisonne, lapel pin, push pin, the little mermaid. And she got this at a garage sale lot. So it has pennies in it and took a best offer of $13 plus shipping. 
The next item comes from T Auctions for You, and she has selling events on her channel where she sells inventory to resellers. They also do one-offs and stuff like that as well for people that are just looking to buy something for themselves. So definitely check out Auctions for You and Donatella Bottolino. They go back and forth on each other's channels and they offer amazing stuff to resellers. Uh, they buy at wholesale prices and then they get stuff cheap enough that they can then wholesale it out to resellers where there's still meat on the bone for us to make some money. And I have a whole bunch of videos on my channel where I feature unboxings of things that I have bought from them. So definitely check out those videos as well. These are Department 56 Village Cedar Pines. And they are basically for displays. I think like if for trains or like if you have little houses set up and she buys her stuff from like storage units or wholesale buyouts, estates, stuff like that. So um, cost of goods is really hard to determine, but she sold these for $32.99 plus shipping. And she doesn't put a whole lot on eBay anymore, but she does try to keep her store active so she doesn't lose her eBay, you know, in the algorithm and stuff. And then I know her husband also does some eBay. The next item is this Royal Dalton Sherlock Holmes uh, jug dated 1980. She sold this for $44.99 plus shipping. And this guy, I just thought this was so cool. 2002 Marvel Lord of the Rings tree beard action figure, 15 inches tall, sold for $44.95 plus shipping. The next item comes from Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. Awesome, awesome eBay store. Look at these items that she finds. I always say, I just can't believe how many like unique and hard to find items that this gal can find. She is great at sourcing. All right. She sold this uh, D Faust for Bethany Lowe Halloween paper mache jack-o'-lantern. And look at that, would you? That is crazy. She sold this for... $185, but she did pay $45 for it. And I'm not sure where she got it. I apologize. I didn't get that info. This guy is an animated 1950s Santa Claus Christmas 10 Litho Toy Japan battery operated with box. She paid $35 at an estate sale for this one, and it sold on best offer for $225. Vogue covers book Putting the Folly into Fashion, Robin Murr. Uh, Goodwill, four bucks. And she sold this for $85. Uh, definitely some Bolo items in this video. Let me know in the comments which item was your favorite. And that can be your favorite because you didn't know about it, your favorite because you would have walked past it, or just your favorite because you thought it was cool. Hey, Bolo buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay. I have a 36 bolos coming your way, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a decent to even great profit. Most of these are big money bolos and they are from my featured members. What does that mean? It means they, I had a message, sorry. It means these people in this video have joined memberships so that they can be featured in a video just like this. So if that's something you're interested in, you are welcome to, let's start over. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have 36, man, I'm struggling tonight. Let's try again, shake it off. Okay. All right, this one is a Disney Ariel and Baby Enamel Colossan, can't say that word, lapel pin. Oh, wait, no, wait, is that cloisonne? That's not cloisonne. Is that how you spell? Oh, my goodness. Let me ask Google. Cloisonne. I don't see a cloisonne in your contacts. Who would you like to call? Who would you like to call? Not cloisonne. It is cloisonne. See, that's another word that I always mess up because it doesn't look like it's, uh, anyway. But anyway, thank you for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here. Also one down here and a subscribe button. So if you're not subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe and check out another video. All right. Thanks for watching.
Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.